Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty, Weather Savants. Uh, Wednesday, I hope your week has been great so far. We've had really nice temperatures uh, the past several days. And then, of course, the winds have really picked up. We do have a storm system that is working through the Central Plains for us as we go through tonight and then into Thursday. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at where the hot spots are today and tomorrow, where the severe weather is going to pop up, uh, what we're going to get in the four state area, and then we're going to go long range because I know a lot of people, they wanted it to know uh, what it is looking like as we go into May. Um, it, it's kind of interesting the next couple of weeks because we're just in uh, a strange part of the pattern. But, of course, we'll get to all that. Uh, of course, I want to give a huge shout out to my guys, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four-state premier roofing contractor. They're family-owned, operated right here in Joplin at 7th and High Street. Uh, they have Vibe out of there as well, which is a hair salon. Uh, but uh, in severe weather season, any time of the year, I had them do my roof last fall. They're great. Make sure you keep that number on the screen or give them a call if you have roofing issues at this point in time. All right, so let's jump into it. Let's see what's going on right now. It's pretty quiet, uh, but later on today, we have the potential for some supercells to blow up central Oklahoma, really Wichita Falls, Lawton to Oklahoma City, up to Ponca City. But most of the action today is going to be really from Manhattan to Salina, Topeka, northeast Kansas, uh, southeast Eastern parts of Nebraska, from Rulo over toward Patrice, even Lincoln, and then southwestern parts of Iowa. But right now, it's pretty calm, but those storms are really going to get going a little bit later on today. So here's the big hot spot. You can see at least a low threat in the yellow. So from Oak City to Wichita. Now, Oklahoma, this is kind of, um, it, it's very highly capped. So only one or two, maybe three storms will go, but those will most likely produce very large hail and some gusty winds and possibly a few tornadoes. Where the moderate threat for severe weather is, uh, northeastern Kansas, parts of Nebraska and Iowa, those are going to be huge hail makers, uh, potentially a couple tornadoes on the onset, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., and then mainly switches over to a wind event later on tonight. So let's go ahead and break it down. A uh, nice afternoon there. It is a lot of clouds. We're getting winds gusting 40 to 45 uh, so you definitely don't want to burn today, but here's 5 p.m. 77 in Joplin, 82 in Tulsa, 83 in Oklahoma City. But we are watching that area out toward the west. So as we get through the evening hours, so let's go to about 7.30. Uh, first off, Oklahoma, northern parts of Texas, couple little supercells trying to get going. Again, it's highly capped. Those are going to have a very hard time, but these guys are going to explode 6, 7 p.m. So uh, you can see 7.30 here, really from Manhattan up through northeastern Kansas, southeastern parts of Iowa. And then after I think about 8 p.m., these kind of switch more into wind makers. But even getting into the Kansas City metro, uh, weakening at this point in time, here's 9.30 p.m. They should start to regenerate a little bit once you get back out uh, across central Kansas, Salina, Manhattan. So at this time, the switch is all to a wind maker. Now, the four-state area, so when I say the four-state area, southeastern Kansas, northeastern Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, southwest Missouri, we stay pretty much storm-free. But that cold front is going to head toward us late tonight into tomorrow morning and then try to produce some more thunderstorms. But you can see ongoing thunderstorms all night. Northeastern Kansas, southeastern Nebraska, southwestern parts of Iowa. The severe threat should die by that point in time. You can see that wind shift line out toward Wichita. That is our cold front. So by tomorrow morning, the front pushes in. So this is when southeastern Kansas, northeastern Oklahoma will start to get some thunderstorms popping up. Most likely not very strong, but as we go through the morning hours, they may beef up a little bit. So here's the noon hour. For Thursday, thunderstorms getting going across parts of Missouri, Arkansas, all the way down through Oklahoma and Texas. And this is going to become a pretty big severe weather outbreak again tomorrow afternoon. But uh, it's going to be mainly east of Joplin, maybe kind of really Springfield, northwest Arkansas, as we go through the afternoon tomorrow. So look at these guys really beefing up southern parts of Missouri. So these will most likely be severe. So here's 2.30 tomorrow, Springfield to Branson. Uh, our counties in southwest Missouri, we may get a random severe thunderstorm morning tomorrow, but most of the action is going to be to our east. Springfield, 
down through northwest Arkansas. Uh, these are mainly going to be wind and hail makers and even a low tornado threat and then a very large hail threat once you get back into northeastern parts of Texas for tomorrow afternoon. So let's continue as we go through the afternoon. Look at these storms explode. Texas, southeastern Oklahoma, most of central Arkansas, even getting into Little Rock. Now east of Springfield, so West Plains. So that's kind of the target zone for severe weather tomorrow. And then these storms continue into tomorrow evening. Uh, temperatures behind the front, still not bad. 74 in Tulsa, 71 in Joplin, 73 Oak City, Kansas City, about 66 degrees. Let's continue through tomorrow evening. Thunderstorms continue severe right across central Arkansas, mainly a wind threat now, so Little Rock, and then these eventually push over toward Memphis as we get into the overnight hours and into Friday morning. Now, as we go into Friday, another little low is going to develop across the southern plains and kind of fire these storms right back up again as we go into Friday. So look at this. They explode again. Eastern parts of Oklahoma, northern Texas, down through parts of Arkansas. I think these will stay just south of the four-state area. Also notice temperatures cooling off. We're in the 50s across Kansas, lower 60s from Joplin to Springfield. And that colder air is going to continue to push in as we go into the weekend. So here's, here's what I wanted to talk about on the pattern. We're in a, kind of a weird part of the pattern, a little bit colder part of the pattern we don't want to frost we don't want to freeze this time of year but it looks like we are going to at least have the potential to get a frost and a freeze as we get into the weekend check this text message okay yeah so let's look at the long range a little bit uh it, it's we have our wave today and thursday and then into friday this weekend chilly it's going to be a nice weekend it's just going to be chilly and across Kansas and Missouri, we are going to have some frosty conditions, uh, maybe even a freeze. We do have a wave next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday that we could get some scattered thunderstorms. But again, we're kind of on that colder side of the pattern, so the chances for severe weather are very, very low. Um, I do think a severe threat will start to creep back in, especially the southern plains, as we get into next Thursday and Friday. So that's something we want to watch. But uh, over the next week, once we get past this system, a little bit cooler side of the pattern. Then a low severe threat on April 30th and May 1st. So I don't see a screaming high threat for the next uh, week and a half. I, I, I do want to kind of see what happens next Thursday and Friday. Uh, that is an interesting part of the pattern. Let's look into May. So a moderate severe threat, the 4th, 5th, and 6th. So the 4th through the 6th. Moderate severe threat from May 11th through 13th. And then the 16th through the 21st, we have two events with a moderate threat. And then the 28th or 24th through 28th of May, a moderate to high threat of severe weather. So it is going to stay active as we get into uh, the next couple of months. So we got plenty of severe weather season. Again, today, the main severe threat is in southeastern Nebraska, parts of Iowa, northeastern Kansas, and then stretching down through parts of Oklahoma. And we will get some thunderstorms in here late tonight into tomorrow morning, just not much in the way of severe weather. Of course, any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below, uh, Is especially once we get closer to summer and the weather gets boring then we'll really dig into the pattern and kind of talk about whatever you guys want in these videos all right guys i hope you have a great day i'll be at koam news tonight five six nine and ten and we will chat soon